Um, bad vegan. Netflix is on this series of documentary about They're trying to teach us how to scam, man. People getting scammed on the street, though, is what you know, white women getting scammed as mm -hmm. if they don't know. The latest one is Bad Vegan. It's the story of uh, this uh, uh, this woman that created a vegan, uh, a very like high, you know, fancy uh, vegan restaurant in um, in New York that actually did really, really well until she met this guy online. Mm -hmm. Until she met this guy online, and basically, you know, they got married, and then you know, apparently he she added him to the business. I don't even know, and him he just he just kind of you know scammed him, and they both scammed you know the the the, the, the workers, but also the investors of, of the restaurant. So. I just want to go, you know, uh, back a little bit. I think I want to talk about the documentary itself. One thing is, first of all... You go first, man. No, 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 yeah, yeah. The documentary is four episodes long. Oh, um, mm -hmm. I think it could have been two, to be honest with you. Um, a long, I think episode one and two, I think they want to do a character build-up where they want to make us... because By giving us the backstory of the woman where she went to Wharton, you know, and uh, she had like a... A childhood, blah blah blah. They basically want us to fall in love with who yeah. she is, so we can feel bad for what Sympathize happened. Sympathize later. Sympathize mm -hmm. later, exactly. But to me, all in all, you know, when I see the story, that's not what I. That's not exactly what I witnessed. You know, she went to Wharton, you know, business school, so she's a very intelligent woman. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, she got a. Uh, she got into. Um, she met with a, she, after Wharton, you know, and then she went into wa 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 uh, walking, walking. Uh, working into Wall Street, you know, she come to find out she doesn't like, you know, mm -hmm. the whole atmosphere yeah. of Wall Street, and she, she found her a passion into cooking. You know, so cooking. to you, by the way, because Lehman Brothers were about to fail anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> into cooking, right? So, as she get into her journey, she go to culinary school, you know, culinary school, and one of the major guys, you know, at the time, at the moment, was, he said, you know, young, bright, you know, uh, chef, you know, good-looking, mm -hmm. handsome guy, mm -hmm. you know, and she started to get in contact with him before, you know, she get in contact with him, and then before we know it, they go. They before you know it, they start dating. You know, they start dating. They did for several years, and um, they come up with these ideas of opening a vegan restaurant. You know, she was very ahead of her time. I gotta give it to yeah. her. Very ahead of her time in the sense of cooking. You know, cooking healthy and finding new ways to make you know vegan eating. You know, I'm gonna say appealing and sexy because I think every time people talk think about vegan, it's just like oh, it's probably nasty food and things like that. Mm -hmm. But she really, you know, get people to rethink about how eating. You know, how you know vegan can be. Can be uh, can be really tasty, basically, yeah. you know. So the rest, the, the restaurant itself is a success. At least the 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 the, yeah. the, the, previous, the, the first year, Baldwin, all that kind of stuff. You know, Baldwin, Tom mm -hmm. Brady, you know, mm -hmm. all the successful people in New York, you know, get to the restaurant. Eventually, you know, something is happening. Uh, comes to find out, this handsome chef, I had a little bit of you know issue, financial issues. Mm -hmm. It seemed that like my man cannot necessarily handle finance pretty pretty well. And but you know but her herself she's a she's a great cook and she went to Wharton so it seemed like she's pretty good on in terms of the of the the cook the the the, the, the book so they break up <clears throat> they break up they go to the invest they, they break they break up but they still a, they still keep a professional you know professional relationship where they work together it seem, things seem to be working at first but then eventually the guy goes to the investor and she's like listen I can't work with this mm -hmm. woman anymore so they break up you know few years goes by and then you know she tried to alec Bald. that's when alec baldwin yeah. coming to the, 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 the whole I same know, thing i know alec baldwin coming to the whole scene because you know he's coming to the restaurant he seems like he really like her based on her mm -hmm. you know side he seemed like he really like her but she's not really in, into him because supposedly he's too old for her i don't even know what she said but she's trying to send him dog that maybe he can buy dog whatever and she mm -hmm. falls in love with you know eventually before sending him and she was going to send him a dog but she for some reason, she fell in love with this particular dog, and she decided to get it. So she decided to get the dog. <laughs> this was a waste of time, bro. Bro, by I'm the way. telling you. That moment, like, listen, I, so some of these document. Skip to the meat, man. I know it's vegan. No, but exactly. skip to the meat. I'm exactly. sorry. So basically, exactly. No, no, no. The, the thing is, it's important. All these steps are important mm. because you know Alec Baldwin is. I think mm. it's a point here yeah. that we need to mention. So again, she 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 gets the dog, and you know she 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 falls in love with the dog, whatever. So her, basically. Her restaurant is a success. You know, she's in cover of a magazine. You know, she's having all these successful people there. But in her personal life, she's very lonely. That's the thing that a lot of mm -hmm. people don't realize. They realize that because you success from the success from the outside, they think that on the inside you 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 super yeah, fulfilled. Yeah, yeah. But that's actually not the mm -hmm. case. Her dog is the he's a he's her own life. Her dog is like her 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 best friend, or her, whatever, right? 
And online, she noticed that this guy that's con that constantly making really good jokes and funny mm -hmm. jokes, you know, uh, on Alec Baldwin, Baldwin account, mm -hmm. you know. So she realizes he's witty, whatever. So she decided once again to get in touch with mm -hmm. the man, and you know, they develop an online relationship with one another. You know, develop an online relationship, you know, for s several months, and then eventually they decide to meet. As they meet, she realized that he's a lot bigger than what she anticipated compared to the picture that he sent. But whatever, who cares, right? Who cares? You know, he's not as attractive, but he's funny and he seems like he has money. The guy always keeps. A I like that. He seems like he has money. He has money. Like mm -hmm. he keeps a mysterious appeal mm -hmm. the whole time. You know, he keeps a mysterious appeal. She doesn't know what he's doing, but he has money, right? So she goes to the. So I think what happened in the documentary because somebody even fell asleep. Apparently, you know, it seemed like she was in debt, and the guy was just like, "Hey, man, um, I can I can help you with your debt. You know, two million dollars, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. But they have to get married for him to be with enough, right? So all of a sudden, the next day, she marries him. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna fast forward this shit because I'm, I'm I'm talking too much. I'm gonna fast forward this shit. Come to find out, she bringing dude she bringing dude into the business, and the dude basically caused the business to collapse. They are scamming their investors. Yeah. They're not paying their the employees. The, the employees, which, by the way, are doing great work. Mm -hmm. It seems like I've seen reviews online. It seems like that spot was the spot. Mm -hmm. The employees were great, top notch. You know what I mean? But she doesn't pay for them. Eventually, you know, they run off to Vegas, whatever. They blow off the money. It seems like she loaned him one point seven million dollars. Anyway, I don't even know how. The guy, because I don't even care about the end. The guy ended up in jail because they found out about the scam. Yeah. The guy ended up in jail, and she only get four months of jail sentence or jail time. Yeah. So anyway, whatever. We just decided we don't talk about it. I want to have your opinion on it. She to pay a lot of money and all that kind of stuff right now. Yeah. She's still on top of that. Yeah. But I, my, my number one question is, and I didn't look into it, Um, did she get paid off of this documentary? Of course she did. The so, friend, yeah, of course she did. So there you go. See, this is my thing about these docs, right? And the same thing about Inventing Anna. You're telling all these stories about these scammers who are supposedly bad Tinder people. Swindler. Who, <laughs> Tinder Swindler. Tinder Swindler, he's popping too. You're supposedly bad people, but yo, they caking off of this. They caking off of this, man. So everyone wins. Everyone wins at the end of the day. But what I think about this doc, man, is it, the same thing about Tinder Swindler. It's like, I understand that some people have certain vulnerabilities, right? Clearly this woman, she was lonely and all that kind of stuff, but you're still educated. You still, you have your own business. You have to do this and that. Wouldn't you have this the, the, the mindfulness to realize that, hold on, why are you continuously asking for money when supposedly you have your own money? You know what I mean? Like, what what is going on? And how do you make... And listen, I understand... No, we spoke about love is blind, right? We, we spoke about love is blind. I am not marrying nobody. <laughs> off rip. Off off rip just like that. Like, yo, man, I, I understand that there's emotional manipulation going on here, but I, I can't find myself to feel sorry about this person, especially a person that's defrauding people who have invested in your business, but especially your employees. Your employees are the backbone of the business themselves. And you're screwing them over in that fashion? I heard that apparently they didn't, she didn't pay what? Up, up to 40 or 40, 40, 40, 40, yeah, 40, 40, yeah, 40K. Yeah. So yeah. like, come on, man, come on. Your employees are the backbone of the business and you're out here, they all out here scamming them. And we're supposed to feel bad for you but then I read something that apparently she and dude are still in contact and they're joking on they're joking so, on uh, voicemails yes, yes, and yes. stuff like that. So that's why everybody got, got yeah. upset. That's why everybody got because they're just like, we're making it seem like you were brainwashed and do mm -hmm. what's bad. First mm -hmm. of all, how do you only me, my question is, first of all, how did she only get four months in jail when technically the business is hers? In her, her name. It's in her name. So the guy can tell you whatever, but the, the business he said your name. So you're the one who scammed the investors about millions. You're the one who scammed your employees. So you should be the one serving like the, the time, not necessarily him. But she's or a high-profile one in public, so she probably has connections. No, no, no. I we think, know people I like think, that. I think they probably we know get, people like that. Don't do serious time. I, I think, no, no, no. So, I, I, so we, we'll touch on mm -hmm. that. So we we'll are touch on that. So I think, you know, she's at least the accomplice in the, mm -hmm. in the story. But... Um, my, I, I, um, I think I, I had the point to make, but exactly that's the issue that people are supposed to be feel bad for her, but at no point she shows remorse, and yeah. no point she shows she shows even accountability for what she's done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She blame him, she blame him, and Netflix. That's what I'm saying. They don't even ask her the hard, tough question. Mm -hmm. And every every question that we ask, she found a way to make, to find an excuse. And I think that's what people had a hard time because when we compare the Tinder swindler and the other the community. People feel bad for the victims because mm -hmm. it's just like we can tell that, you know, they, they're crying, their life was destroyed. Like, we can read her. She doesn't even show remorse. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? She, she's not even accountable for the things she done. Like, yeah, that was messed up. Now, I mean, now that the money she got from Netflix, she mm -hmm. says she's going to repay the, the employees, but that might just be your move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might just be Follow up on that, y'all. Follow up on that. That might just be your move. I don't even know, you know, but any, any, anyway, any, man, she's probably going to have a book deal. She's probably yeah. going to have a... So, yeah, of course you're going to pay them. It's only $40,000. Mm -hmm. She probably got a meal off of the... Off of, not a meal. I'm doing too much, but she probably got a three hundred k. If it's only forty thousand dollars in wage, then you still have like two sixty. You still have a big chunk left, and you're gonna get a book deal or something like that. Because the problem with our in our society is we love controversy. So people are probably gonna buy the book to read what really mm -hmm. happened, and it's gonna become a bestseller. Mm -hmm. So she will have more money anyway. But my issue with this is how we somewhat infantilize women to make it seem like women are not in control of their emotion. If you can be that good in, in business, if you can if you can lead a restaurant and get it to be so successful, if you can have the top position in CEOs and, and judges and things like that, which but rightfully so, you're gonna tell me that it's a, you you cannot control your emotion when it comes to a man? You you mean tell me your your emotion, you can't control your emotion to the point where you didn't see that was a scam? My only my only issue with this is like clearly you were with another man earlier and you had discernment to fi to figure out that hey He's bad with finance. Let me let me cut with this man. Mm -hmm. But with that guy who's not as handsome, who's a, who's a, who's not as handsome, you can't you can't you can't do that. And I think, like to be honest with you, what happened when I'm because me, I really look into it. I believe that it was all about money. The chef from the outside is a great chef, but he doesn't really know handle his finance. And she was just like, man, this man is not really good with finance. The big dude had 50k followers. He was mm -hmm. friends with Alec Baldwin. He talked about he has money, so she thought that he was he always had money, mm -hmm. and that's probably what the reason why she married him. But once she realized that he wasn't what he was, once again, she ran away. And the third thing that I'm going to say, the reason why her time was probably cut off is because, yo, Shorty was sleeping with her, with her attorney. She was sleeping with a married man. Dog, she was sleeping with a married man. She had an affair with her attorney. He, that's how she probably got, she, she, she got a deal. I read the story, I was just like, yo, she had like, she, oh, she said she didn't know he was married. He's a public he's, Listen, he's, I'm not going to go public so defender. that far. I'm not going to go no, that no, no, far no, no, because no. the attorney is a private entity. Oh, no, 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 no. He's a well-known attorney. See, he's online. You could look him up. Mm. So you know he's married. That's what I'm saying because he was a, he's the one who defended El Chapo. He's, a, he's, he's known, married with two kids. And his wife came out and said that she was lying. They never had a breakup. And then she said she had a break. That's a lie. She knew mm. he was married. So that's what I'm saying. She has a thing for powerful men. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So in either way... Which however, makes sense, by the way. However, because one, no, no, absolutely you, fine. But however you, you want to cut yeah, it... But However you want to cut it, she's still the common denominator in all these stories. And they want to remove the blame from her. That For her, that's my issue with it. Mm. The guy's in jail. She only did four months because she cooperated or whatever. But, dude, that, and that's another thing that says about our justice system. Because, honestly, off of all you've done, you only get four months? Dude. Again, you know. I mean. I, I'm going to say it because no one's going to say it. But, you know, why, you know. Powerful white women get the least sentences. We can already know that, but you know we know women let get uh, no, less jail sentence. Women, they, they get yeah, exactly. We can tell Martha Stewart, all these girls, mm -hmm. you know, all the other one with the crime that she did with USC. What's his uh, homegirl's name? That um, the, damn, I forgot. With the kids scandal. Yeah, 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 yeah. She did like yeah, two yeah. months in jail. You know, we already know that them they always they always get their ways. You know. So that's all I wanted to say. But me, just like stop on this case. I'm not talking about victim blaming because it's not victim blaming. You know, I feel bad. It's for, not victim blaming. I it's, feel, listen, I, listen, man. I, we need to stop trying to shelter all of these people, man. Seriously, some people are doing nasty stuff, and we should go out there and accuse them of doing so. For real. And from from the standpoint, right, the point of view of her employees and those investors, y'all don't think that 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 they probably look at her as badly as the woman in Tinder Swindler looked at the guy, huh? Seriously, why why should we feel bad for her? Why the hell should we personally feel bad for her? I'm not going to get pulled by these by these television tricks of her backstory and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm supposed to cry, cry looking all, all that. No. She, not, she even scammed tough her mom. Tough luck. Apparently she even scammed her mom. Tough luck. Tough <laughs> luck. Tough luck. Tough for her you. Her mom is not even in the documentary. And she comes from a stable background. Again, that, that's what I hated so much about Netflix. They try to build her as, as this young teenager that didn't know who she was and you know and that maybe past trauma i'm just like listen hey have you been a teenager we've all been teenager it's a it's a hard time for everybody we try to identify well, we, we know how it in. is right? we all try to fit in somehow as teenagers like, well, well we, you know how it is man she's already a powerful woman she has powerful friends they were probably thinking okay if we tell the story how we want to tell it uh she's probably gonna sue 
this is a dope story. Make make some money off of that. Yeah. So let's at least bring her in and have her be incorporated with it, and let's tell the story the way she 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 agrees to and, do it. And so. like you said, and that's the life. That's that's business, man. And like you said, the piece. The, the, I think the the very important point is where at the end she's having a conversation with the guy and just joking. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. like someone yeah. that destroyed your life like that. How are you still capable yeah. of having yeah. a friendly conversation with them? And even let alone and she even denied them. that those 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 voicemails exist and something like that. Like no. So but, there's and, a lot more again there's a lot more that that we not you know it seems like there's a lot of thing a lot of things that need to be you know talked about or we we have questions that are not answered but one of these things I, people like you said he's a hidden miss i think that's a miss man because a lot of people from the reaction i read online they were just like nah on this one no nah, girl you you, you need I, everybody questions like how did she only spend four months in jail <laughs> and how do you she let someone take you 1.7 million i think my man i'm gonna finish on this Bill Burr, the great Bill Burr said something. I don't know if you saw his clip on SNL where we were talking about when uh, when white women talk about uh, black men uh, raping them. And then, you uh, know, when he talk about how white women always come for, 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 white, for white guys. Mm -hmm. And he basically make a joke about how white women, whenever they sleep with black men, they, 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 they talk about when, you know, they talk about when they get caught, it's like they were, yeah. they, they were mm -hmm. raped basically. So what he says is, white women, y'all were in on the heist, but you didn't like your cut. <laughs> so, oh my god. <laughs> he said you were in on the height, but because you didn't like your cut, you felt that's exactly what it is here. But anyway, man, that's all I had to say, man. Um Tell us what y'all think, man. Yeah, let us know what y'all think, man. That's a miss from Netflix from my opinion.